For those of you that think eclipses are a slam dunk proof for the ball, they're not, and here's why. Oh, how I long for the day when I can make a Flat Earth video and not have someone leave the comment. Oh yeah? Well, what about eclipses? Well, here's a video for all you guys to leave as many comments about eclipses that you can stand. Just about everyone, except for maybe the folks that sub to this channel, believe that solar eclipses are caused by the moon coming between the sun and the earth. Something strange about this phenomenon is that the moon is roughly the size of the United States, yet the shadow cast upon the earth is only 70 miles wide. Another interesting twist is that no one has ever in the history of man proven that this dark object canceling out the light of the sun is in fact the moon. Can you prove that here, or is it simply a dark object? Another questionable fact is how we can have something called a penumbral eclipse. This is when both the sun and the moon are above the horizon at the same time during a lunar eclipse. This is impossible if the reason we have lunar eclipses is because the earth is between the sun and the moon. Let's let those questions simmer for a bit while we talk about something we can all agree on. Everyone agrees that the sun gives off its own light, right? Great, common ground. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the moon gives off its own light as well. And this can be proven by the fact that moonlight is measurably colder than sunlight. For example, take a thermometer out on a cloudless night and the temperature will actually be warmer in the shade than in the moonlight, which is the opposite of what we experience during the day. If the moon was reflecting the light of the sun, this would not be the case. It would be warmer in the moonlight, albeit considerably less than during the day, but if it's reflecting the same light, the properties of that light should be the same. Now, seeing as both the sun and the moon are self-illuminating, it's quite possible they could actually both be self-eclipsing. My personal view of the sun is that it is a focal point of light, that the light that was created on day one enters the convex firmament creating a focal image, aka the sun that we see, which, by the way, is only possible to create on day four after the convex lens of the firmament was created on day two and after all the plants were on day three, which themselves create the gases we breathe, which help to magnify and further project and diffuse sunlight, all very efficient. You say, Matt, is there any proof of this? And I say, yes, actually there is. There are the sun rays we observe all the time pointing to a smaller local focal point of light but also this great video here. This was shot in Michigan during the last solar eclipse. The reason this was even visible is because one, the camera does not have a solar filter on it, and two, the cameraman did not listen to the suggestions of not staring at the sun as it's eclipsing. You can see the sun, the focal point, is very bright. In fact, so bright that you cannot see it's currently eclipsing. But you can also see the day one source light behind it, farther away, outside the firmament. This is the light that creates the sun, and it is what's actually being eclipsed, not the sun that we see in the sky. This was not a lens flare. You can see that it's steady. This is a lens flare dancing and jumping everywhere. And here is a homemade example of how this can be possible. How it is possible that the sun is not eclipsed from the front, but from behind. In conclusion, solar eclipses cannot be what they tell us if no one has ever photographed the moon passing in front of the sun if the shadow of the moon is completely the wrong size. And lunar eclipses cannot be what they tell us if they can occur when the earth is not between the sun and the moon. And because the moon is provably producing its own light and thus wouldn't be eclipsed if the earth was supposedly between the sun and the moon. So when you say, what about eclipses? Yeah, what about them? The problem is not that something is blocking your ability to see the sun or the moon. It's blocking your ability to see, period. That's the problem.